Welcome to the Pool Nation podcast, where it's all pool talk. And we ain't talking about netting and jetting or splashing and dashing. We're talking about becoming a nation of pool pros. We talk about the latest products, trends, and training in the pool industry. Now let's welcome your host with over a decade of industry insider experience and still the reigning champion of Marco Polo, Edgar De Jesus, and his co-host, John J.J. Flawless, the fastest netter in the West, and Zach the Pool Boy Nicholas. Welcome, everyone, to the Pool Nation Live podcast. I am your host, Edgar De Jesus, and yes, I am the reigning champion of Marco Polo, along with John J.J. Flawless, the fastest netter in the West, and the famous Zach, the pool boy, Nicholas. Today, we're talking about the Pool Nation boot camp that's going to be held August 18th and 19th out in League City, Texas, out in Houston at the new headquarters for the pool boys. I want to welcome everyone to our live podcast, a podcast where it's all pool talk and we ain't talking about netting and jetting or splashing and dashing. We're talking about becoming a nation of pool pros. And yes, we will talk about the latest products and trends in the pool industry. But before we do that, I want to thank our sponsors for this podcast, the Ultimate Pool Tools, the SPPA, Blue Ray XL, Aquastar Pool Products, Natural Chemistry, Ray Pack, and Heritage Pool Supply. We want to thank them for their continued support mr zacharias how you doing i'm doing good i had my two cups of coffee so i'm feeling very perked up now and ready to roll so we're ready to do about another 15 podcasts after this one let's do it let's do it mr jj how you doing i gave access to john for the chat and i could tell that this is just not gonna work this is just not gonna work because john's one of those where he looks at the shiny object right (laughs) Right. and you give him now the chat and all he's doing which i I should start to post this stuff but literally janie went welcome back boys and he's hi my love and this no but look and and i'm talking and all you can hear is clack 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 over there and then all he types is Hi, my love, but he, and it looks, he, he looks like about you. 30 times. No, but look, the problem was when I noticed this, this is my first message being sent now that I have access to our multi, I'm gonna multi, block him. Our multi-chat verse, right? <laughs> multi-chat verse. <laughs> Not just one. You used to make me only stay in one that nobody was in, right? But now I have access to the multi-chat verse. And I'm sitting there doing that, and Janie goes, hi, welcome back, boys. And I say, and I type back, hi, my love. And then it just says host on there. So I'm like, <laughs> That okay, was me, one. Janie. So I'm like, next I go, <laughs> This is from John. <laughs> from John. <laughs> oh. I want people looking at it and getting a little tripped out. Absolutely. Uh, the grind don't stop. Yes, sir. That's right. Big huge shout out to you, Kevin. We got to get these bad boys out there. And I feel bad because I had John come out to Dallas. And man, I've just been running him ragged. I'm actually starting to feel guilty tonight on a Saturday night at 749 at night. I haven't fed him yet today. I've been working him really hard. So I'm starting to feel a little guilty. But Again, 4th of July weekend, poor John's out in Dallas just shooting content. We just got him to shoot like 60 video clips that we have. So <laughs> I appreciate that, John. Oh, no. Of course, long overdue, right? We need to do this. We made a commitment and we're going to make it happen. So we're going to be doing more and more of them. I had a lot of fun today. And this is literally what I love to do. And jibber jabbing and talking and hanging out over here with you and the family. It's something that we look forward to doing. Plus, Everybody's going through a heat wave, and it was a little hot in Texas, and you were whining and complaining about it, but it's nothing over here. <laughs> right now, I I'm know, at it's, it's 119 degrees right now where we're at. <laughs> yeah, so but I'm like, eh, Yeah, it, it is, but it's not too bad. It's a little overcast, and you got a little bit of a breeze, so I look at it like if you're sweating a little bit, you get a little wet, but with that breeze, it cools you off, so it's like a built-in, what do you call it, swamp cooler? <laughs> So you're, don't, I, don't I, I that a, word. it's been very enjoyable, but today was fun and I'm looking forward to the next set of videos that we're going to do it here. Hopefully they came out well. We'll get to those right away. And for everybody that's listening and watching, those are actually going to be going in our new update. So we have a new update that's going to be coming out for our app very soon. So we're going to talk about that. We redid the entire website of the website part of the Pullman University, because one of the things that we're noticing is that's really exploding. It's really starting to take off first. It's kind of. 
really? So, so it's really blown up. And I looked at it before the podcast, John, and so views of all the videos were at 79.9 thousand views on all those videos. Like Alicia's water chemistry videos got 19,000 something views. It's just absolutely just amazing. And But one of the trends that I'm watching is people can log in on the computer. So it's, it doesn't have to just be the app. Everybody can go to their computer and they can let, you know log in and, and watch it. And I was talking to Zach because one of the trends that we're starting to see is even though we're getting so many views, all of a sudden the desktop version of it is really starting to, to move up in the ranks really quick. So anyway, that created us or made us sit back and rethink that and redesign that entire part. And so we're in the redesign part of it. John came out, we went through it yesterday and had some changes and we were making a couple more changes to it to really make it user friendly and be able to get all the pool pros out there to be able to watch it. So anyways, let's see, what's the Zoom conference on the 4th of July on your website? Mm. Oh, do I have the 4th of July? I have to check that. I don't think I have the 4th of July. So I'll check that out there and check. So... We will have a new update that's going to be coming up. There's going to be a new video section. So there'll be the training, but there'll be a new video section. And then the employer part of the site that we've been talking about where employers can sign up and assign the content to their employees is coming up. And then we've got a whole bunch of new video content for the training side that's going to be coming as well. So that should be out probably in the next two or three weeks, trying to work all the little bug and last minute changes to it. So. Gentlemen, want to talk really quick about the Pool Nation boot camp that we're going to be holding August 18th and 19th. Mini boot camp. The mini boot camp, mini boot camp. And I do have to thank Zach because I think one of the things that I tend to do is, hey, let's do, but Zach really stepped it up on this one and said, hey, I got the brand new facility. I've got the space for it. I've got the parking for it. Let's do it out here. Let's get all the pool pros in my area to come out here. And we opened up nominations on Wednesday night on the Instagram Live. Today's Saturday, 7 o'clock. We have 47 people registered for the boot camp. We can only hold 80 people. And so super excited that obviously we have this dream of doing these boot camps, of doing these mini boot camps. But to see that many people jump out to it and want to be part of it right away is pretty awesome. I want to jump in and I'm super excited because it's been, a, I guess, a mission of mine looking at different locations and stuff when we were trying to find our next home for the company. And one of the things that was like a non-negotiable for me was having space to be able to do like different training and things like that. Because down here, there's not a lot of training on the South side where we are. Everything seems to be scheduled up on the North side, about an hour away from us or out in the Katy area. And that's a haul especially when we've got a team of people out there Monday through Friday in the field, it's really not feasible for us to be able to make that trip to some of these different manufacturer trainings that go on. So when we were looking for our spot, it was just absolutely like one of my top priorities was to have the space. And when we found this place, it was awesome. We were able to put together the learning lab. And so I'm super excited to really kick it off with the Pool Nation boot camp. And I'm just happy and my guys are excited and to be a part of it. And I'm going to have to throttle Edgar a little bit because when I built it, I don't know if I built it for 80 people, but we're going to make it work. So, Yeah, and we're super excited and it's going to work. But it's so funny, Zach, because we go through the gym and I got the numbers that you sent me with regards to occupancy and stuff like that. I think it's fun. it's fun to go through... And I know this is going to sound weird, but I think it's fun to go through the obstacles that we go through in order to make these things work, right? We thought maybe the first day on Friday, you're not going to have 80 people show up for the classroom style classes. I think we're talking about a lot of hands-on. So there's a lot of people excited about that. And then next thing we jump out at this registration and there's 47 people. And I'm like, oh, wait a second. And I start, <laughs> Zach and I started talking late last night and I'm like, Zach, I don't think that the main room is going to be able to hold 80 people all at once, right? We have these two rooms, it's separated and all that kind of stuff. So Zach and I start in typical Zach format, John, he sits there and he goes, okay, so every chair is, I don't know how many inches long <laughs> inches. And, and, and how many this, and then I got to do three feet to this side. And then I got to do four chairs to that side. So I think we can fit 50 chairs and 
all of a sudden he sends me a message. I got a buddy of mine that has a table rental thing. So I got 40 chairs coming in so I can do a dry run and put all the chairs. And then all of a sudden we start figuring out, oh man, the schedule for the classes, if we need to split them up, that doesn't line up. So we have to rethink the schedule and we have to start doing all that kind of stuff. And that's the part of it that I think excites me is really trying to figure all this out and figure the obstacles and how to figure it all out. But I can tell you this, it's going to be an awesome boot camp. I know it's only going to be 80 people, but it's what John wanted to do where he wanted to make it very intimate. He didn't want 300 people in a room taking a heater class or taking a pump class. And so we're going to talk about how we're going to break that down to be able to accommodate that. But I think the beauty of it all is normally what works for us, right? There's three of us. We have all three have a different mindset. We all have a dream of what it's going to look like. And then when we put it together, it just always comes together. And I think that's the part that excites me is watching it come together. What's just like you were hitting on it and same with you, Zach, is it's nice to do things like this. And we had a dream and a belief that, hey, look, this was what we want. And we've been thinking about this for years. And just like anything in life, nothing that happens really quickly is ever really worth it. We have the mentality where go big or go home and everything that we do, and it's either all in or all out. And yes, we could have probably done a class earlier. Yes, we could have done this or done that. But in order for it to be something, at least in our eyes, something great or beneficial to people that are going to take the time out of their day, their lives, away from their family, away from their business, pay employees to go out there, however it may be, to travel and everything to go out there. We want this to be as good as it could possibly be so that they can actually walk away a better businessman or woman or better technician or understand that business or that category or that topic much better than they did when they first got there. And if we can help everybody that walks into that boot camp and they walk away feeling more educated and smarter, more confident when they go into the backyard, then that is the ultimate goal and what we're trying to do. Thinking, hey, we're going to do this boot camp or do this or that, and everything sounds great on paper or dreaming it up and saying, hey, we're going to do this, but actually doing it, right, gives you some mad respect for all the other trainers and all the other companies and everybody else out there that goes out there day in and day out to put out these trainings or to try to teach people and help people. It's not easy. There's so many moving parts. Now when you figure in three pool guys we're not masters in orchestrating these types of, we don't have marketing campaigns and wedding planners or boot camp planners, right? That'll help us guide us through these obstacles and trials and tribulations. It's just literally good putting our heads down and figuring out, hey, look, what if this, what if that, what if this, what if that? And I think that's how we all play and why we work well together. But to me, I got a smile on my face because look, we've been really wanting to do this and it's finally happening. And this is as far as like educating people, we can do it on podcasts, we can do it on our app, we can do it on on our lives, but sometimes the in-person that, there's people that learn differently, right? And to have a quality in-person training is what some people need to learn because some people don't have the patience or don't have the time or just don't learn well by reading books or don't learn well by maybe watching a video or by listening to an audio or a podcast. Some people need to actually get their hands dirty to understand, to have that one-on-one interaction with an instructor, to be able to ask them situational questions that they, maybe they run into, and then to be able to provide that and give that to them, I think is a step in the right direction in our industry so that we can all get better at what we do. And then as far as like the venue and just being able to make it happen, it wouldn't happen without all our amazing sponsors. We've put a lot of blood, sweat, and tears, time, effort away from our families, everything to do to help create this. And we've put money out of our own pockets to do this, lots of money to do it. But to do it right, there's no way we can fit the bill and afford to do, to get this wonderful ballroom will probably cost twenty, twenty-five thousand dollars $25,000, where Zach was now able to provide this for us, right? The Pool Boys is a sponsor for this boot camp, if you really think about it, right? all the sacrifices that you guys are going to have to make to accommodate because you're disrupting your daily business and how things are going so that you can help provide this for everybody in the industry. And everybody should be thankful and we're very thankful for it. And all our sponsors that have stepped up to the plate and said, Hey, yeah, we're going to do it. We're going to be there. We're going to fit the bill. We're going to do everything. And then not only that, but we're going out there with the mentality because we keep pushing and, hey, this isn't about a specific brand, right? We're trying to teach people how to understand pumps in general. 
we're trying to help people understand automations in general. We've been very lucky to have major players like now Hayward that is stepping in to do these wonderful trainings, right? To have people like Aquastar and to have Raypack, to have Hasa, to have all these wonderful companies coming up and saying, hey, look, we want to do this and teach this and do what we need to do for the industry. It's just pretty jaw dropping for me. And I'm just very thankful for each and every person that is involved in this to help make it happen. And this mini boot camp that we're doing is like our first initial. And why we call it the mini is because it's the first one that we're doing. And it is a little smaller venue when we teamed up with the international show. And now we're going to be doing the education there for the full boot camp that we're going to do out in November. This is going to be our, not necessarily a dry run, but it is going to be our first run. And we understand that we need to make it and keep it a little bit smaller so that we can see what worked, what didn't work, and get feedback and do what we need to do so it's alive and never changing things. But anyways, I'm really excited. And Zach, thank you so much for opening up your doors. I can't wait to go out there and check it out and be a part of it. Hopefully I don't disappoint. <laughs> Edgar really <laughs> Edgar really pumped it up, right? So I'm going to go out there and, and look, I cannot wait to go there, meet the team, meet everybody there, be a part of it and see what you've built. Because I know you're very proud of it and you've put a lot of blood, sweat and tears into what you've created. And from what I've seen and what you've shared, I've been thoroughly impressed. And it is something that I hope the people that go there that are there for training, especially if they're new into the industry or people that might be the one pollers out there can see what can be done and what the pool industry can do for you, right? And what you can create and you can build this wonderful business where you can employ many people, help support so many families, right? And it's not just cleaning pools. We provide an amazing service and you can be as successful as you want to be. And I think what you've done and the progression of your company and what now you have to offer is the Pool Boys headquarters is something to be very proud of. Yeah, absolutely. So super excited, super, super excited to get out there and do that boot camp. It's going to be awesome. And we need to thank Aquastar. We need to thank Hasa. We need to thank Hayward for partnering with us on all this. And just super excited that they see the vision that we see. And I think a lot of people just don't understand that, you know, we go in and we're like, hey, we want to partner with you and hey, we want to do a boot camp. And they spend thousands of dollars to do these events, like thousands of dollars. You take a look at Hayward. They have to ship equipment. They have both of these teams are actually creating guys and girls out there. They're actually creating the setups that we're going to use at these trainings because it's something that they haven't done and we're asking them, we want to cut wires, we want to connect to different automations, we want to be able to program the panels, we want to do all these things. That's very different from what they've done in the past. And even Hayward and even Aquastar, they're talking about these carts that they're building. And I was looking at, which I didn't know, they have these converter boxes to where they can connect these pumps into these converter boxes, but these converter boxes cost a ton of money and we're going, hey, we want you to have six, seven. And by the way, at the show, you might need to have 10 of them. So even if they cost a thousand dollars, that's $10,000 just in these boxes. You're not talking about the shipping of the stuff. You're not talking about, hey, we're going, hey, we might be able to do a food truck out there and cover the cost of the food and then ship. Brian lives in Dallas. He's got to travel down there. He's got to stay down there. Plus the rest of the team that they're going to have out there, Aaron's going to be out there. He's got to fly from back east. So their company has to foot the bill to get these people to fly out there, their accommodations, their food, their time. It's on a Saturday so that they're going to be doing this. So a lot of the employees, if they're hourly, they got to get paid because they're going to be doing that. But for them to come to us and go, we believe in your dream. We believe in your vision. We're willing to do this. We're willing to partner with you guys to do this, I think is huge for us and oh, for what we want to do. It's very humbling. And you're right. This is, we're talking tens of thousands, if not like hundred thousand dollars worth of time, effort and stuff that goes into doing this. And more importantly, doing it all for free. Yeah. Because we understand, everybody understands, especially that this is for, we play in the long game here. This is something where these costs, and it's not probably something that can always go on for, everything can always be free because as things get bigger and we start talking about a lot of money, we have to be able to absorb some costs. But to be able to offer this right now for everybody to do it for free, anybody that's willing to take the time out of their day to come out and learn something is just remarkable. And it's just, like I said, it's just, pretty freaking cool, dude. If you think about it, 
that they're doing this. And it's not just like a simple class. We're talking about some really in-depth training that you guys haven't experienced before, or at least all under one roof, all at one time. So it's going to be pretty fun. And I know we keep lushing and keep talking about it. But again, we're just so absolutely thankful to all our sponsors out there that did this because we couldn't do it without them. Yeah. And you guys are just absolutely friggin' amazing. And thank you so much. And I know we're going to knock it out the park. And I know this is going to be one of many boot camps. We need to thank Chris from Blu-ray, <laughs> sponsor of the event. Chris has just been just absolutely amazing with everything that we do, right? And he believes in the vision of the pool guy. And he was a pool guy, right? So he understands the hustle, the time that it gets out there, the time that it takes to get trained and really be able to run that business at the next level. But Danielle from the SPPA, Ken from Ultimate Pools, Ray Pack, Aquastar, Heritage, they're all sponsoring all these events. And we keep going back to them. We keep going, hey, we want to do this and we want to train here. And this is the vision that we have. And what, all we've gotten from them is let's do it. Let's do it. And it's amazing. And it's not like we're there sitting every single time. Oh, you have to buy this. You have to buy. We talk about us not being product peddlers and the sponsors that we want a part of our podcast or to be a part of the Pool Nation family or people that feel and understand the dream that we're trying to create here and, and the purpose behind it, right? This isn't the minute we start just selling ourselves or doing this or doing that or whatever it may be, you start to lose credibility because how are you going to trust somebody that is only sitting there talking about because somebody, oh yeah, I'm going to only talk about this product because you sponsored me. Now you stop sponsoring me. Now I'm not going to talk about you. That's not what we're here for. We're here for the long run and the long game. And people understand, are these are sponsors that are part of us get it. And they said, hey, look, we're all a part of this one small industry. And though sometimes some people might look at us all as competitors, but reality, we're in it together. And if we all succeed, we all benefit from it. And they get it. It took a while, right? I mean, here we go. We're three years into this. And if we would have announced this boot camp because we thought about it three years ago and talked about it and said, hey, we're going to do a boot camp, there'd be we no way. It would have been laughed out it of the room. It would have been laughed out of the room. <laughs> Nobody. So th- everything, just like anything in life, it takes time, right? And you got to work on it. And you got to do what you need to do and build those relationships and build a reputation, hopefully, where people believe and say, hey, look, these guys are for real. And they don't have an alternative agenda. And truly, all they really care about is bettering the industry. And if anything... It's only because we're a part of it, right? And we benefit as well, just like everybody else does when our industry does well. Again, thanks, guys. You guys are absolutely amazing. I know we don't say it enough, and we should. Yeah. here we are again saying it again, not because we're not appreciative. It's just because, you know, sometimes we're bad at it sometimes. I don't know. <laughs> but it's just literally you guys are rock stars. And when I heard that Hayward stepped in and jumped in because we went on and said, hey, look, here's a big three. We have an opportunity for somebody to step up who wants to be a part of this. And we've already had some amazing manufacturers, like we said, Aquastar and Raypack are being a part of it and stuff. But we'd love to have the big three, somebody in there. And Hayward stepped up to the plate and said, look, we want to be a part of it and we understand it. And it's not necessarily about the numbers game, right? Yeah. And well, what's in it for us or what's in it for this? And it's more of, hey, look, we get it yeah. and we want to be a part of it. So Hayward, I'm very thankful. We all are. Yeah. And for Hayward to step in and they have to go to Vegas. And obviously in Vegas, the boot camp is through the international show. And one of the things that I want everybody to understand is when they put these events together at these conventions and stuff like that, you're dealing with unions, you're dealing with a lot of the labor stuff. It's very expensive. And I talk about it all the time. Last year, we went to do the Pool Nation Award and we had somebody that was going to manage our video that we do. And we got there and they said, no, it's a union thing. You have to hire somebody in order to be able to play and pause your video with the categories and the names and all that kind of stuff. And it costs us almost $4,000 because there's union regulations. And so you have to have somebody that manages the sound, somebody that manages the lights and all that kind of stuff. The other person that manages the video, right? Because it's all combined together. Joel's up here going, hey, I see my words on the screen. Yeah, absolutely. Big huge shout out to you, Joel, out there. So just imagine for these guys that have to pay for the rental of these rooms, right? Like for your Zach, we were lucky that it's your space. There's no cost. But these guys go to these shows and they have to pay for the space. Oh, my God. You know? And, and the, space is, the space isn't inexpensive, right? And then you talk about the cost of everything going up through COVID and labor and all that kind of stuff. But for them to look at it and go hey, we might get 160 people maybe max to kind of go through that training and for them to spend all that kind of money, 
is huge. So I know that we've talked about it for a while, but we needed to give them all a big, huge shout out because they are supporters and we don't do it enough. And I think we need to do it a little bit more often. All right. So let's talk about this boot camp that we're going to be in. So let me backtrack here really quick. So for everybody listening, the Pool Nation Award nominations are open and they're going to be open for six weeks. They opened July 1st. So get out there, nominate everybody, go to poolnationawards.com. You can nominate your favorite products, your favorite people. Pool guy, pool girl of the year, sales rep of the year, women trailblazer of the year, everything. Get out there, submit your nominations. The other thing is this boot camp that we're talking about is going to be August 18th and 19th down in Lake City at the Pool Boys. If you want to look at that information, you could go to poolnation.com. You're going to see a button that says boot camp. Click on the boot camp button. It'll give you the information. The address is going to be down at the Pool Boys. So if you want to get the exact location, poolboys.com, not the Pool Boys, just poolboys with an S.com, you'll be able to get the address there. But also, if you go to Pool Nation to that page, you'll be able to get all of the information there. Guys, let's talk really quick about Friday. Let's talk about the classes that we're going to be doing on Friday. So Friday, what we're going to do is classroom style classes. Saturday, it's going to be all hands-on. We reached out to Terry from Hassa and absolutely love Terry. He's the man. Every time that we say, hey, Terry, we need something, he's, I'm in. We're in. We got you. So we reached out to Terry. We wanted to teach him water chemistry. So we're going to start on 8 a.m. on Friday. And the first class that we're going to do is really a basic water chemistry, a chemistry, a water chemistry 101. Yeah, and I'm excited to get my guys in this one. And the thing is, I think a lot of people get stuck on the word basic, right? But you can never take basic water chemistry too much because, and from my personal experience, every time I take one of these chemistry classes, I learn something new because it's a thing where you might be at a certain stage or point in your career and you're learning that maybe you heard something previously, but it just didn't quite click at that time. And now you're ready. You have a better understanding and there's something that's said that clicks. And my whole philosophy with everything I've ever done, every training or education program that I've taken is if I can walk away with one nugget of information, then it's a total win for me. So I'm super excited to have Terry here and teach the guys because Terry is just a phenomenal educator. And again, every time I sit through one of his programs, I'm learning a ton of new things. I'm not walking away with one nugget. I'm walking away with multiple nuggets. I got to agree. Hands down, one of the best educators in our industry, period. And there's really not many people out there more qualified when it comes down to talking about chemistry and understanding it. And if anybody's had the pleasure, especially if you were at the Western show and you got to watch Terry up there doing his class, it was very informative and his passion behind it when he talks and he keeps you engaged. He's just a wonderful educator and a wonderful teacher. So if anybody don't think you're too good for a basic class, trust me, there's a lot of things that Terry will be able to teach you. And again, this is going to be a little bit different than most. We are going to encourage a lot of interaction, right? And we've always said this, we want to create a safe space where everybody, a hub where everybody can come get the information without being ridiculed, without being judged, without looked upon as like, you're stupid for asking that question, or you should know that question, right? No judgment, no nothing. I'm better than you are, or whatever it may be. In our boot camp, when you are there, there will be none of that nonsense allowed. And everybody who's going to be there is going to be a part of the Pool Nation family, right? And are going to be people that accept everybody for who they are, whatever stage they are in their career. And we're there to help each other and build each other up and not tear anybody down. So, Come there and feel, you will feel comfortable asking questions and Terry will be there being able to answer pretty much anything you ever need to know when it comes down to chemistry. That's going to be a class to definitely take. The next class that we're going to be doing, and we we volunteered John, we didn't ask him, we just volunteered. John's going to be doing a class on borates and everything that you need to know about borates. You're going to let my guys ask all the questions they want. Well, look, we're going to be talking about borage, but you know me, I'm going to wander off talking about other things too as well. So look, <laughs> no. I'm going to put it like this. Look, guys, Edgar calls up and says, hey, what do you think about doing a class on borage? I go, sure. Okay, whatever. Absolutely. If that's what we need to do, let's do it. And we think it's an important part because it's something that people need to be educated on. And I think there's a lot of misinformation about it. And there are new ways to apply it, and it can definitely be a game changer for you when it comes down to managing some pools, especially trouble pools. So I'll be teaching a course on borates and going over the basics, going over, it's pretty much going to be basic, intermediate, expert level when it comes down to the borates. 
You're raising your hand. You want uh, to have a question? I'm just practicing for the day of the class. I'm going to be um, like, question, question. Yeah, but if anybody knows me, it's not going to just be a, okay, this is what it is. This is going to be a highly interactive thing. And I'm going to talk about more situational things, right? And not necessarily here are the facts on borates, how to apply borates. Of course, that's going to be covered. But we're going to get down to the nitty gritty on how to sell it, why it's important, long-term benefits of it. Just get into any other questions you guys might have. So it's going to be a pretty much open forum. And anybody who wants to ever ask me anything, if you're attending the class, feel free to do it. And we could talk about pretty much anything. I'll leave some time at the end of it so that we can just leave as an open Q&A for any questions anybody has. And I think hopefully it'll be worth your guys' time. Absolutely. The next class that we're going to teach there, believe it or not. So when I was down in Houston, we had Chris from, is it C&E Pristine Pools? I always get the letters mixed up. Yeah. So Chris Luna, which by the way, a big huge shout out to you, Chris. He's been an amazing supporter of ours from the beginning. He's one of these pool pros that just wants to better the industry, that wants to take the industry to the next level. So he came out with Jeremy and they had lunch with us. And then Taryn from Hayward was there. And we went to them and said, what do you guys want? Like, we're doing this boot camp for you guys. And he had, both of them had a great point, And that was salt pools and not just salt pools, but A, everything about salt pools. And then we started talking with Taryn that was there and we started talking about all the different levels that the different salt systems need, right? Because Hayward has one salt level, Pentair has a different one and getting into all that. A lot of interesting information came up in that conversation with regards to testing salt when the water's warm. Just really started in getting into a lot of details, even the cleaning of the systems, all that kind of stuff. And that was really interesting. And so he said, I really would like to have something to really have 100% understanding of how to manage a salt pool. And everybody just talks about salt pools and it's in a really high level, but let's get to the nitty gritty of managing salt pools. He goes, there's a lot of times that I walk into a backyard and salt systems are disconnected because the previous guy said, nah, you don't need this. And we decided to do a class and we reached out to Brian from Hayward and we said, hey, we need a class, but we don't need just a short 30 minute class. We need an in-depth class. And Hayward's going to be teaching and Brian is going to be teaching a salt system class, not just their salt system, right? Because they do have one that's what, 800 to 8,000. So that completely changes the game. But we said we want something generic that people can take away for everything. So that's going to be the next class. I think you really touched on something there. From my experience, and it's been a while since I've been able to attend some training stuff, but when me and Justin were getting started in the industry and we were really growing, we would take every class that we could take that came around. And a lot of it started at a higher level than we were ready for. So we learned through experience in the field, trial and error, and then just, again, being able to take one nugget away from one of these classes. But we got to remember, there's a lot of new people entering the industry, and especially for people who are hiring technicians and growing their companies, there's not a lot of that. And I don't want to say, I want to say like more entry level things. And it's just, it jumps up here. But what we really need is like you mentioned, cleaning of salt cells. It's easy to assume that, you know, everyone oh should know how to clean a salt cell. Well, not everyone does. And especially in like people that are in my position where you have people coming on board and you're trying to train them, we don't always have time to go out and train them on every little aspect of managing a pool. So I think this is a super important class. I'm excited that I had a great time hanging out with Chris and Jeremy. I'm excited that they had that input and that we were able to bring that to fruition. Yeah. And look, and to take it even further, the purpose, like how I envision it is we go into a salt class and we go, yeah, here's a salt cell, whoever it may be. This is our pros. This is what you do. This is how you do it. But nobody really talks about, like you said, managing it and what the reality is. You put a salt cell into a pool or you put a salt system into a pool, it changes the whole dynamic of it. It doesn't just produce chlorine, but it has other effects on it too, that if you're not aware of and understand then a pool can get out of hand or you get frustrated with it and you don't want to put it. And that's why salt cells are just sitting there because people just let them run until they die or enough calcium builds up. So they want to just explode and nobody's taking care of it. But let's talk about, Hey, we're putting a salt system in there now. Okay. Pools that you used to go to that maybe you walked into was a seven, eight might be an eight, two now or eight, three now. And then what are you going to do to combat that? And how are you going to manage it? Or let's be honest, I have a salt cell in the system and it's telling you, don't just rely on what the salt cell tells you that the salt level's at. And if it's telling you that the salt level's low, don't just keep throwing salt in it because it's just telling you it's low. 
right? No, it's not. It might be dirty. Let's open it up and let's look at it. Let's do a second form of testing and that you need to verify before you take action. And those are the types of things that sometimes other classes that you might take, people aren't really necessarily going to tell you some of the cons or some of the things that you have to deal with now because you have a salt system. But if you are aware of them, then you understand them, then you can prevent or you know how to handle it and you won't get defeated from it or you won't get frustrated with it because I promise the benefits outweigh the cons if you do it correctly, if you plumb it in correctly, right? If you match it up correctly with the right system, are you just throwing in a salt cell and you're putting it in on the return line and you have a Pentera automation, right? Or you have a Hayward automation and then you're putting a Jandy system in there and it doesn't communicate with it and it's not communicating. And then now every time somebody's in and you got, it's in the middle of summer and it's running at a hundred percent because it's undersized and you got that thing just cranking away and then somebody's, it's an Airbnb and they're using a spa and that spa is now getting blitzed with a half a pound of chlorine because they left it running for eight hours and it's running to it and the system doesn't communicate to it to tell it, hey, it's I'm in spa mode and I need to kick down to 2% or 1%. And those are the types of things and now my spa is completely scaled out. Now I got all this water being returned into the spa and it's we got a high pH in it, right? And why does my spa look like crap? And my spa looks like garbage. And understand these types of things. These are the things that we need to talk about and understand because these are the real situational things that as technicians, we have to deal with. And we have to know. And it's not as easy as just putting it in and thinking, oh, yeah, everything's great and all fine and dandy. That was very specific, dude. I feel that you had a traumatic experience at one point. (laughs) No, no, I'm just, no, but I talk to a lot of people every day. And they tell me these things. And these are some of the things that I always say, how do you do it out in the desert? once a week. And I have this conversation. Everybody out here is twice a week. How do you do it once a week? I go, one of the ways is obviously water chemistry and understanding it, water management. But the other way is that we have salt systems and the majority of our pools are salt systems. And I always get kicked. Oh, sorry, garbage. They're garbage. And yeah, they are. Profit. They can be if you don't understand them and you don't use them right. But if you understand them, it can be a wonderful thing for the pool. It can be a moneymaker for you as a business, and then it can allow you to be able to maintain better quality water over time, just depending on, anyways. But these are just some things that we talk about and that come up all the time. And I said, hey, look, this is the reason why that's happening. And it's because this was done wrong, or you put the wrong salt system in for that system. I personally haven't had any traumatic experiences from it, but I've heard them all. And those are just some of the things that people just don't talk about. And I think we need to know in order to be educated. Absolutely. Hey, big huge shout out to Brass Pool Service out there. Thanks for jumping on, Chris. Big shout out to you. Zach, John, let's do this. Let's take a quick word from our sponsors. When we come back, we will continue. The Hyper Pole from Ultimate Pool Tools is a pool care pole designed by pool professionals for pool professionals, featuring precision crafted carbon fiber and stainless steel construction. Go to ultimatepooltools.com or Instagram at Ultimate Pool Tools. Pool pros have specific needs when it comes to general liability insurance. The SPPA program has you covered. With three tailored and customizable general liability options, SPPA makes it easy for pool pros to feel secure. Find out more and get covered at the SPPA.com. Now available, Pool Invoice. Pool Invoice is a pool billing software created specifically for the pool service and repair industry. It's developed for our industry and only our industry. Pool Invoice is built with reoccurring billing in mind. You can print, email, text invoices, or even send via WhatsApp. You can add reoccurring or yearly charges, accept credits, and set up auto pay. You can even see when customers have seen the invoice. It even has a customer portal where they can log in and see, print, and pay invoices. It has all your customers' information on one page, so you don't need to search through hundreds of invoices looking for the one you need. Just go to the customer profile and it's all at your fingertips. Created specifically for the pool industry, Pool Invoice. Now available at PoolInvoice.com. Blu-ray XL is the power of minerals working for you. Reduce your overall chemical costs and labor up to 50% guaranteed. 
Whether you have 20 accounts or 20,000, Blu-ray XL's direct pricing and free shipping to the pool trade have you covered. Improving pool professionals' profit and work-life balance is what they do. Blu-ray XL, the real mineral purifier. Visit them at BluRayXL.com. Blu-ray all day. Aquastar's new pipeline cartridge filters, available in two sizes, deliver top-notch hydraulic efficiency along with best-in-class filtration performance, approaching that of DE filters. Uniquely designed, open pleat spacing means 100% of the media square footage is usable. And these claims are backed by NSF test results. Designed with the pro's time and comfort in mind, the patented double-locking system improves safety and ease of access, making filter cleaners faster than ever before. Available now. Ask your supplier for pipeline filters today. Natural Chemistry, a leader in specialty water care solutions for over 30 years, is proud to provide products that make pool service easier than ever before. Its unique enzyme formulations in Pro Series Pro Blend improve efficiency of your pool program while reducing frequency of filter cleaning and scum lines. Natural Chemistry is also well known for its wide variety of phosphate removal solutions that include a non-clouding formula in phosphory and extremely high range removal with Pro Series Series Foss Remove or Foss Free Max. Save time, save money, save work with Pro Series products. Stop sacrificing durability or efficiency with the help of Raypack's new Avia HD models that utilize NITEC, their exclusive industry-first technology. NITEC Heat Exchanger Technology is Raypack's latest solution to superior strength and maximum efficiency when it comes to residential pool heating. With 900% more nickel compared to Cooper Nickel in critical surfaces, NITEC creates an ideal surface to protect against scale formation and erosion without compromising on Avia's 84% thermal efficiency. Learn more at raypack.com slash nitech. Welcome back, everybody, to the Pool Nation Live podcast with myself, your host, Edgar DeJesus, Mr. John J.J. Flawless, which is probably thinking food right now because it's late here, I am 8.33. Thinking food. And I had, during the break, I went down there, I was talking to Mama, I go, all right, we got about 15 minutes left in the podcast, you need to figure out where we're going to go <laughs> eat, so we can go eat, but what I'm really thinking right now is, and I think you're doing this on purpose, every time... I have to go somewhere. I have to run up and down like 15 flights of stairs. You know what I mean? Like four-story home Edgar has here, and I'm winded. <laughs> What's Edgar's word? Are you ravished right now? Oh, I'm ravenous. ravenous. <laughs> <laughs> Which, by the way, John called me out on that, and then I'm like, that's true. That's the word that I always use. I better switch it up. You know what I mean? But anyways, it's funny because you don't realize it, but you say things, and then people kind of start repeating and doing all those things. I know there's a lot of people that we always meet with and make fun of us because of the things that we say. So anyways, all right, so let's continue here. And the other thing that we wanted to talk about is the next class was going to be understanding ozone. And that's going to be Steve Barnes with Aquastar. And he's going to do an educational deep dive into ozone and what it is and how it works and just deep dive into understanding that. Because I think that there's still a big misunderstanding or it's not been talked enough about with regards to ozone. I'm super excited for this one. Steve is the man. When I was in Dallas with you guys last and I got the opportunity to just hang out with Steve, we geeked out for hours. So I am I know this class is not going to disappoint. There's going to be a ton of things to learn. And like you said, even for us, we look at ozone, UV, all that stuff. And these are tools to be able to better manage a pool. And I used to refer to them as decorations on the wall because it seems like every time I run into one, it's the hose is disconnected or you can't see if there's anything working. You don't know if it's working. And I just avoided it for a long time. But as our industry grows, as technologies change, things become more available cost-wise and install-wise. Like This is going to be super important for especially us here at the Pool Boys, to understand this because this is how we bring in that that safer water, healthier water, easier to manage pools. So I'm super excited for this class. Yeah, exactly what Zach was saying, and it's the truth. Ozone and UV have been around for a very long time. And unfortunately, it's one of those things that it's not really something that's sold after the fact. It's usually installed with the build, with a builder that will do it. And the technician that ends up taking care of it lacks the knowledge on understanding what it does 
how to maintain it and the importance of it. And so what ends up happening is it's just there. I see this box on the wall that says Dell something or says CMP or says whatever it may be. And I don't know if it works. And there's a little hose that's going here and I can't see it. I don't test for it. I don't know what's going on. Sometimes I see some bubbles coming out of a return. I keep thinking that I have a suction side leak in my pool. I'm trying to fix this leak and my valves are great and I don't have a leak and I'm still getting bubbled. What the hell's going on? And then, or they'll look at it and they'll go, hey, and I see there's a little green light under there and it's on. Is it working? Is it not working? And then they kind of leave it that way. Or I see this big old bazooka on my pad and I don't know what it is. It looks like a torpedo or submarine. (laughs) And there used to be like a light coming from it. Now there's not a light coming from it. I have no idea what it does or how to replace the bulb in it or the importance of it, let alone plumb it in or install it. The purpose behind this is taking a technology that has been around, right, and a very important one that I think is the future of pool care and simplifying it to the fact and so that people truly understand it, the importance of it, and introducing, especially with what Aquastar has come out with, a new compact version of it that is very easy to install and an all-inclusive piece that if you know how to install a salt cell, just the cell itself and able to plug something in, you can pretty much use it and utilize it. But if you don't understand it and the benefits of it, then you're not going to be prone to selling it because you're not confident in it, right? And you're going to tell a customer, hey, it's going to cost, yeah, you need to put this ozone in. It's going to cost $3,000, $2,000, whatever it may be, whatever system. And if you can't speak to it and explain it, and if you know how to maintain it, you're going to be a little shy from doing it. So hopefully when you guys walk away from this class, You're going to feel real good about it, and you're going to want to install an ozone system into your pool. And we're going to show you how to cut it. We're going to show you how to plumb it in. We're going to show you how to see how it works. We're going to show you the technology behind it and how to benefit from it as a service professional. Absolutely. And then the last class for that Friday is going to be a Chemistry 201 with Terry. So what he's going to do is he's going to take it to the next level in this class, next level water chemistry, and do a a little bit of a deeper dive into water chemistry for the pool pros. Then from there comes really, I think, the part that we're all super excited about, and that's going to be Saturday. And on the Saturday, when we start the day, we're going to start off with two classes. So we'll have two rooms there. And what's going to happen is we'll have two classes that will run in tandem. And basically what we're going to do is For the 80 people that sign up, they'll have different time slots that they'll be able to come and do. So they'll either be in the morning or in the afternoon. But like an example, if you're assigned from for the morning session, what will happen is you will start off with either a variable speed pump installation or automation. And so you'll each go to your own room. And then once those two classes are done, the classrooms swap. So then if you were taking the variable speed pump class, you're going to move over into the automation class talking about the variable speed pump installation is really one of those. And we've talked about it a bunch of times, which is really learning how to program them. John brought up a great point the other day, and that is that we should teach people how to change pump seals on that pump, right? Which we we hadn't even thought about. And we were talking about it the other day and he's like, hey, one thing that we haven't talked about is changing some pump seals. And I think we need to do that. So Todd, by the time that you listen to this podcast, you'll have already gotten a call from me going, hey, by the way, we're going to add changing pump seals <laughs> to your pumps. But we want to do very hands-on with regards to cutting conduit and stripping wires and learning about the electricity side, right? And we're going to have the different spools of different colors of wire there. And when we talk about whether it's 110, 220, 240, whatever the connection is going to be, it's going to be, hey, go over there and what wire, what color wires are you guys going to use? And walk people through that process and then cut the wires and connect them. And the beauty is then you're going to connect it to different automations because we all understand that in real life, it's not the perfect setup that John says. You go to these classes and it's just this perfect setup. And when you go out into the real world, that's not the case. Yeah. yeah. Rarely do we go, okay, Graham, I'm going to install this by the man. Everything's perfect. And you got a perfect clean palette. All the pipes are fresh, brand new, and they're there and everything's perfect, ready to rock and roll, right? And you're going to use a Pentair pump with the Pentair system. You use a Jandy with the Jandy, Hayward with Hayward, or so on and so on, right? In the perfect world, that's not what happens. We're talking about service professionals or technicians that are going out there that are servicing pools after they're being built, and we're upgrading or replacing equipment that is currently there. And it is rarely ever perfectly 
set up for you where you can just go out there and undo some unions and pop a new one in and, and okay, this wire was here. I'm going to put that wire there. This wire was here. I'm going to put, okay, I'm just going to replicate exactly what was there. That doesn't happen. Rarely ever happens. You're going to have to put a new pump in. And if you put a different pump in, or usually what ends up happening too, is people are afraid of putting newer and better technology in simply because it's not as easy to install, or it might take a little bit more time because they don't understand it. I'm absolutely stuck with this one manufacturer. I have to do this or I have to do that, even though it might not be the right solution where I don't want to have to do an elevation change. Okay, so we're going to put a pump in and now you got to do an elevation change. You guys know how to do it and the proper way to do it and what you need to do and how much pipe you need in front of it. Are you using nipples to plumb in? Have a high temp union? Are you going two and a half? Are you going two? What's the system? Da, 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 da. If you're going to install this, you're going to install it with the Jandy system. You're going to install it with the Hayward system. You're going to install it with the Pentair system and how you go about installing it in certain different situations. Is it an intermatic time clock? Is it an aqua switch? Is it a comp pool? How do you program it then? And those are all the types of things that we're hopefully going to be able to address so that people have a better understanding and they feel more comfortable when they go back into the backyard. It goes exactly with what you were just talking about a minute ago is this is the future, right? They came out in 2021, single speeds are phasing out. And with these variable speed pumps and with the technology in them, they come at a higher cost. And if you don't have that confidence, then that is going to be something that you shy away from. What's happening is that it's eventually going to be a thing where there's not really the option to do it. So the more confidence you have now, you can get ahead of the game because once it's not an option, then it's not going to be as hard of a sale for everyone. So if you can get the confidence now, if you can get the understanding of this technology and you can start implementing those sales into your company right now, then you're already going to be ahead of the curve and be able to take advantage of that. Absolutely. Mr. Jay Vasquez, good evening, gents. Shout out to you, brother, out there. And then the next thing that we're going to do a deep dive into is automation, installation, and programming. And again, we reached out to Hayward on this one and we said, hey, we want to teach pool pros out there how to install automations and not not just, hey, here's your product and install your product, but we really want to teach them generic and everything that would cover for that installation. And they're like, hey, we got you covered. We're going to do this. And I think this is another big one, gentlemen, because when you go out as a one polar you look at automation, and I would dare to say that probably going, hey, I'm going to install an automation, that's probably like the scariest thing that you could do from a standpoint of learning, right? Because you go through the progression of probably fixing some jandy valves, maybe an intermatic timer, you get to the pump, you change the pump seals, you wire a pump, you could do a heater, right? The heater's simple, it's the three wires, then you go into the plumbing side of it, which you probably have by now. You do the gas. But when you're talking about an automation, that's like the heart of it all, right? That's the big piece of equipment. And you got you got relays and you got the transformer and you have all those things. And I think that probably for a pool pro, that's probably like the last big thing that you do, right? Through that progression. And to me, it was I had to go install with somebody four or five of them until I learned all the different aspects of the automation and then was like, okay, I got this. So to me, I love this class because I think the earlier that you can jump into it to learning, the quicker you're going to get over all the fears of all the other equipment, right? This is almost like the octopus of the ocean with all the tentacles and all the things. And if you get exposed to that a lot sooner in your journey, the rest of it seems to just be a lot easier. Yeah. And I hear that. And that's exactly how I was too. When I first started, I was like, oh my God, but in reality, let's be truthful, dude, an automate, it's easy. It, uh, is. it really is. And, and it's fun. And it doesn't really <laughs> matter what system it's so basic. Right. And it's like, we look at it like it is really basic. There's not much that goes into it. And if you understand how to install one correctly, then you can pretty much install any automation. Things change, bus bars are in different positions, but at the end of the day, it's all really the same. And once you get a good understanding on how to install a certain one, then you can apply it to others, right? And the purpose of it is, hey, this is how you only do this one, but this is how it applies to all automation, right? That relay's a relay. It doesn't matter which one. That three horsepower relay is going to be the same on that one, this one, and that one. And when you're installing or you're plugging it in, the line side's the line side, the load side's the load side. When you're hooking up to transformer, you're going to either do it this way or you're going to do it that way. 
GFCIs that are on there. This is a GFCI and this is what it runs and this is what you connect it to, right? This is your grounding bar. This is your neutral bar. And this is what this does and now that does. And this is how you're going to install it. This is how you properly wire this and you feed it through. And then what really makes the automation stand out between one manufacturer and the other is the panel itself and the software and what controls it and what abilities it has or additional abilities. And programming each one is very different, but different in ways of it's the same thing, but it's just a different format, right? And you just have to learn how to do it differently on each and every one of them. And it's one of those things that you're really scared of at first, but once you get it and understand, and hopefully after this class, everyone will feel great about it. When they, And I don't mean if you don't have the right licensing, right? If you don't have the right know-how, if you're not completely confident in what you're doing, we don't want anybody going out there and thinking they can sit and mess with the Rewire electricity. The thing, yeah, yeah, and everything's all beautiful. Yeah. This is just pure education also. People get a good understanding of it so that they can build some confidence in it so that they do become versed and educated and they're able to offer those solutions to their clients. Because there's a lot of guys and gals out there that are intimidated and won't do anything more than just service a pool because they feel that they don't have the ability to do these types of repairs or these types of installations, right? And it might open them up to a whole new world and say, hey, look, yeah, you know what? I do want to go get my license based off wherever I live, whether it's California, whether it's Texas, it varies differently from land to land or state to state, and then do what I need to do so that I can further my education with this. And then when I do get my proper licensing and get comfortable with it, then now I have the know-how and the tools and at least the resources to go back and be able to install these things because they're fun as hell. And they're, yeah. they're, it, I remember before when I was doing, I was like, oh my God, I'm so apparent. Every single wire, is, <laughs> I'm labeling it. And I'm, with writing with a sharpie. <laughs> everything is just, oh my God. And everything, <laughs> pictures before and afters, you know what I mean? And all this has to be, Oh my God. And it's just like one wire at a time. And then somehow I'm like juggling one board. I remember when I did my first IQ 2.0 upgrade. Right? I'm sitting around, oh my God. Everything. I have one you, board here. You, I'm plugging, yeah, plugging, plugging, yeah. I want, and hang, one's hanging and the other one's hanging. And I'm doing it because I, that's the only way you can do it. I don't know what the hell I'm yeah. doing. And then when I'm doing an automation, right, I'm like, okay. And I'm like, oh, this is going, I'm running every, everything needs to be just perfect. Now you go in there, every, shut off all the breakers, everything, cut everything out, right? rip that bad boy off, right? And then just start putting it in there and fixing what was wrong and making it look better and getting it in there. But you get that sense of accomplishment, right? And it just feels really great. No, don't worry about it. I'll figure it out. Here it is. And then it's more of, okay, now how much better can I get at it? Or how much cleaner can I make it look, right? How perfect can it be when I'm doing it? And just like the first time I ever worked on a heater, and I know we don't have a heater class this time around, but we're going to have it's it at the main at one, yeah. the main big boot camp that we're going to do. But it's like the same, it's like that sense of accomplishment that you get when you finally do your first one and you understand it, or you fix that heater, or you made the, you fix that automation, or you okay, installed that, that pump. Whoosh. Yeah, or right. Yeah, it never gets old. I don't care how many times you do it, you fix something, and yeah. all you oh, want to hear and is then just you that. Walk, and you, oh, I just feel great. Yeah, I can do it. You know what I mean? And it's like <laughs> when you really get down to how simple they really are. Yeah, yeah. And then one heater, and the same thing too. Like if you can fix one heater, you can fix them all. Oh, yeah. All you got to yeah. do is figure out where those parts are on that heater, right. and then know, understand what the symptoms are. You have to be somewhat of a little bit of a doctor what those symptoms are, and it's the same. There's really nothing different between them. Yep. And you learn the heaters too, because it's like you get a call for a master temp and you're like going in and you're like, okay, it's going to be one of these three things yeah. for the yeah. most part, right? Yeah. And you're like, okay, here's a sense of boom, boom, here it is. The question uh, is always, does it sound like wet shoes in a washing machine? <laughs> <laughs> John, and it's shoes funny because you're talking about it. I remember doing those upgrades and just flipping the oh, the little thing and just leaving it hanging just like that exactly like you're saying and just unplugging from here plugging from here like that and then just flipping dude, the new board in, was, closing dude, in. i remember the first time i did i was doing automations right i was putting automations in and i remember them and i was like okay and i'm doing from whatever it may be or i'm installing either intermatic and putting in like an iq 904 right or putting in an easy touch light or something like that it's really not that hard right you got your main power coming in and then you have to feed everything it, Right. But I remember the first time I went and I think I was putting in, a, uh, I think I was doing an easy touch and I was replacing like a comp pool. Right. And then I opened it up and I looked at it and I go, what? I've never seen relays like that before. What the <laughs> hell are those? Right. I'm like, holy shit. And I'm sitting there like freaking out. And I'm like, I don't got this because these look different yeah. than, than what my relays look at. And I'm looking at them and they're all jammed in one after. And I'm like, holy crap. And that one, I was like, oh yeah, I'm pulling them out, labeling everything. I go, everything's perfect because if 
I can't figure it out. I have to put this old one back in. <laughs> I, gotta, you know, I have to, because I had nobody to call, nobody yeah. to talk to. And I got through it. And it's like, I get it. And we get it all. And yeah. that's what we're trying to help avoid so that people don't have to go through that traumatizing, uh, oh crap moment. I'm really excited about this automation class. And I'm very thankful for Hayward stepping up to the plate and being able to do this. And if you get that confidence in automation, typically you got to look at what type of customers, when you get that, you listen to them and you hear that, I'd like to be able to control it from my phone. It's, yeah, here we go. And typically the people that are willing to go after automation upgrade or get an automation installed, then they're people of technology. They're people that are, in most cases, understand, you know, when you start talking about variable speed and the benefits or better filtration, things like that, then a lot of times it ends up being just an overall pad upgrade. Yeah. John, I remember my first little Intermatic timers and it was just, you're, all you're doing is you're just swapping the Intermatic guts for the other ones. And I remember oh. pulling it out and bending it down like that with the wires and, and me doing the same thing like 10 pictures before, right? Oh, From yeah. every angle to be able to do it. And then one wire at a time. And then you're like, oh, I got it. And then you clip it in and then you turn it on and you're all excited. Oh, and dude. now I look at it and I'm like, Oh my God, that was like the dumbest thing, right? That you're just, because it's literally with those pools, it was just a pump. That was it. It was the two hots and then the pump, and that was it. But I remember the first time just. And like you said, why? Okay, this one, and I would write with a sharpie one. So you had the four. So I would go one, two. I did it. I did it. This one goes to three. This one goes to four. And then even with that, I would fold it forward and then just do them one at a time. That was only in case it came out and I didn't remember where it was from and my 50 pictures wouldn't work. (laughs) Oh, dude. Or just the struggle from Intermatic to automation when it comes down to like, I can't remember how long it took me to go put stuff in. Okay, one to two three to four or one to two uh, yeah. or one to three, <laughs> two to four. You know, like what this is, it doesn't make any sense. You know what I mean? Line load. No, it's, you know, and, then, it's, and then you're like, was it yeah. line or was it load? Yeah. It's oh, a load is uh, where the pump goes. No, yeah. or is that line? Why the is it line different? goes in to turn it on. <laughs> Which one's right? Why is it different? Is it because when you're only doing intermatics, right? You know, yeah, you're doing yeah. it this way. And then now you're going to a relay and it's, you know, dude, why don't you look at the door? Cause that means we would have yeah. to read. No, but a lot of times <laughs> at the time you don't know, or yeah. you're thinking, or it's not there or, or Every intermatic doesn't have that little plastic cover on there, you uh-huh. know what I mean? That's giving you the wiring diagram and yeah. you're thinking, okay, that's going to, no. no. That is funny. Yeah. Or uh, what's that extra lug for on that intermatic? What the hell does that do? You know what I mean? Or what's plugged into this one? And then if you're going into different two-speed setups and, and it's just like, oh, but those are the fun times. And look, and anybody oh, yeah. out there that, that wants to pretend like they didn't go through it, then you either... You didn't go through it because you were blessed with the mentor that was there that taught you how to do it the right way and you didn't, weren't self-taught. Too many of us in this industry were self-taught simply because of a lack of education being available or accessible because people didn't know about it. There was always education out in the industry, but unfortunately it was in 15 different places taught by 30 different people. And sometimes some of it was right, some of it was wrong, or people just didn't have the means of finding where that information was or being able to go to those classes. So that's what we're trying to help alleviate here and trying to make some of the scary things out there that we think are scary, really make it a friendly for you guys. But I want to say something here in a minute, but I want to backtrack here. Jay Vasquez, big shout out to you. Just telling you with you guys this evening, we appreciate that. Deborah is saying, LOL, I remember those days. And then that whoosh of the heater never gets old. But here's a great one that she put that I never even thought about. I would do a line for which screw it was. So the screw and the wire, one to one, two to two, three to three, right? I would just write, so that's awesome. And then Chris Melee just can't wait for me to start doing stuff like that. And Chris, man, you're on the brink. You're getting there. Guys, remember, Susie, big shout out to you out there. Welcome. I remember being afraid, getting a call on a Saturday, right? And then the one or two people that I had to call weren't available. And then I'd have to go look at a heater and I would be crossing my fingers that I would be able to figure out what it was and you walking in and be able to fix it and you leave and you're patting your chest out to the car. I came on a Saturday and I didn't have to get help from anybody to fix that heater. That just felt so good. Ah, the feeling. Oh, you felt like a superhero. Oh yeah. And then the times where you were back there and you didn't have any idea how it was that and you're like, you can't figure it out. And you can't stress, figure it out. And you're like, and you oh my God, and you're right? Stress and the or in the customer's waiting. waiting right there. And yeah. You have a, a yeah. Total BS. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm a talker. You know, I can talk. I'm all right. We got this. You know what I mean? You know, we can figure this out. <laughs> Making up words and <laughs> oh, oh, for sure, dude. We got to. Oh, we got to kick the kick plate, and we need to replace a hyperufinator valve on this one. <laughs> It's faulty. Uh, yeah, yeah. The part that I have it for it is not the same one. This is a newer model, yeah. oh, so I'll have to get it. that from this the full store. It's got to wait oh, till Monday. I'm sorry. It was defective out of the box. <laughs> it's all smoked because you burnt it. <laughs> right? Uh, you smoked but, the board. Oh, it's defective. Uh, Damn it. But that's the way we all learn. But there's nothing better than having somebody to be able to call oh, you know, yeah. and have your back. Or you get a that. little overconfident, right? Yeah, I was on the phone. Yeah. Did this happen just... Dude, this happened not real recently, but in the future, I knew better. But where you get a little confident and you're like, yeah, I can work with electricity and I don't need to turn the breakers off. I can work live or I can do this or whatever the case may be. And the first time I actually got shocked, trust me, you know what I mean? <laughs> trust me. You're, you're out there by yourself yeah. and you go, oh, oh. Ah! <laughs> or you smoke the relay. Right. Because you're trying to, we've all done dumb things before. And it's, so these are the things we want to talk about, right? Yeah. And say, hey, look, the importance of stuff and learn from our mistakes or learn from the things we went through so that you don't have to go through them and you can skip that whole frustrating portion of it and become a rock star right out the gate. But yeah, dude, I can go on for hours and hours about just stories and stories. Justin blew up a voltmeter in my hand. I still don't know how he did it, but he was like, here, can you hold this? And he was testing some stuff. And all Oh, he was testing was, resistance is what he was doing or continuity just, between something. We just, and then hooked it up to something. I don't know. And yeah. Then, boom, oh, yeah. And I look down and the voltmeter's gone and I had black all over my hand and it was in about 10 different pieces all around. Oh, dude, but just lackadaisical sometimes, right? Yeah. And like, ah, I can figure it. I can do it. No big deal. Yeah. I can do it. Nope. Yeah. Yeah. There's one thing that I've never done and I never will. I've always really been afraid of electricity. So everything that yeah. I work on without fail is with power off. Yeah. And I would go with a buddy of mine and he'd do the intermatic timers, which are simple, right? And he'd just be like, flip, flip, flip it. And just like me every time was like, nope, switch off or go into the breaker and blah, 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 blah. Just, I've always been afraid of it. So I've always, yeah. I've always been really good at doing that. So anyways, guys, let's do this. Let's take our final word from our sponsors. When we come back, we'll talk really quick about the dates, the website where you guys can register for the boot camp and get out there and spend some time with us. And I'll get your final thoughts. Yep. The Hyper Pole from Ultimate Pool Tools is a pool care pole designed by pool professionals for pool professionals, featuring precision crafted carbon fiber and stainless steel construction. Go to ultimatepooltools.com or Instagram at Ultimate Pool Tools. Pool pros have specific needs when it comes to general liability insurance. The SPPA program has you covered. With three tailored and customizable general liability options, SPPA makes it easy for pool pros to feel secure. Find out more and get covered at the SPPA.com. Now available, Pool Invoice. Pool Invoice is a pool billing software created specifically for the pool service and repair industry. It's developed for our industry and only our industry. Pool Invoice is built with reoccurring billing in mind. You can print, email, text invoices, or even send via WhatsApp. You can add reoccurring or yearly charges, accept credits, and set up auto pay. You can even see when customers have seen the invoice. It even has a customer portal where they can log in and see, print, and pay invoices. It has all your customers' information on one page, so you don't need to search through hundreds of invoices looking for the one you need. Just go to the customer profile and it's all at your fingertips. Created specifically for the pool industry, Pool Invoice. Now available at PoolInvoice.com. Blu-ray XL is the power of minerals working for you. Reduce your overall chemical costs and labor up to 50% guaranteed. Whether you have 20 accounts or 20,000, Blu-ray XL's direct pricing and free shipping to the pool trade have you covered. Improving pool professionals' profit and work-life balance is what they do. Blu-ray XL, the real mineral purifier. Visit them at blu-rayxl.com. Blu-ray, all day. 
Aquastar's new pipeline cartridge filters, available in two sizes, deliver top-notch hydraulic efficiency along with best-in-class filtration performance, approaching that of DE filters. Uniquely designed, open pleat spacing means 100% of the media square footage is usable. And these claims are backed by NSF test results. Designed with the pros' time and comfort in mind, the patented double-locking system improves safety and ease of access, making filter cleaners faster than ever before. Available now. Ask your supplier for pipeline filters today. Natural Chemistry, a leader in specialty water care solutions for over 30 years, is proud to provide products that make pool service easier than ever before. Its unique enzyme formulations in Pro Series Pro Blend improve efficiency of your pool program while reducing frequency of filter cleaning and scum lines. Natural Chemistry is also well known for its wide variety of phosphate removal solutions that include a non-clouding formula in phosphory and extremely high range removal with Pro Series Series FOSS Remove or FOSS Free Max. Save time, save money, save work with Pro Series products. Stop sacrificing durability or efficiency with the help of Raypack's new Avia HD models that utilize NITEC, their exclusive industry-first technology. NITEC Heat Exchanger Technology is Raypack's latest solution to superior strength and maximum efficiency when it comes to residential pool heating. With 900% more nickel compared to Cooper Nickel in critical surfaces, NITEC creates an ideal surface to protect against scale formation and erosion without compromising on Avia's 84% thermal efficiency. Learn more at raypack.com slash nitech. Welcome back, everybody, to the Pool Nation Live podcast. I am your host, Edgar de Jesus, and I am the champion of Marco Polo, along with John J.J. Flawless, fastest netter in the West. Damn, you know, you said that with a lot and of confidence. Famous, so it's like, didn't he say that? We're going to go back and listen to that, and I'm sorry to scream. You, you said you, that. You, it was you, like, Zach, he killed yours. No, I, was, dude, I was going I in a, for the kill with yours. I was even going to try to do a whistle. Your, your, but, I had to pop your little balloon because I am the host. I am the champion of Marco Polo. What the hell's that? That's because nobody ever disputes the champion of Marco Polo. Everybody's like, eh, let him yeah. be the champion of Marco Polo. <laughs> Everybody always says, I think I could beat John at being the fastest netter in the West. Everybody wants to take a shot at you. And everybody's like, oh, Zach's the famous pool boy. So with mine, I can go in with confidence because yes. nobody's going to be like, hey, let me challenge you to a Marco Polo yeah. duel. So that's why I go into mine with confidence. Yes, that was, you did say it with some gusto. <laughs> I was trying to do the deep voice, kind of like Spider does, since if, I don't know, maybe I'll be called Venom or something like that for the doing all the ticky ticky tacky tacky producing it's stuff more like here. that's why spider because you have to have so many hands in order to do all the different stuff because yeah. he's constantly pressing buttons so we'll yeah. call you the octopus the o- <laughs> squid 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 <laughs> that's perfect squid word so now that john's thrown my game completely yeah, and hear. shot my confidence yeah. and just you know bring this back to reality know, here. Oh, champion yeah, uh, champion yeah. i am the champion i am the champion of marco polo john now that john's kind of yeah made me feel this big it's probably because he the r- real thing is i'm projecting i'm saying these types of things it's because i was the fastest netter in the west and as i get older i highly doubt i am bro even remotely. you will always be the fastest yeah. netter in the west yeah. bro yeah. Yeah. don't let anybody okay. challenge that to you my friend thank you thank you zach let me get your final thoughts yeah i know we were joking about our mishaps but definitely if you're not comfortable with electricity be very careful out there because it is a very serious thing. I love and you, Zach. Of course, Zach would have to throw that disclaimer <laughs> in, right? He's already. <laughs> hey, I just, and that's my mind. It's I've got true, to but it is 100% true. No, it true. is 100% true. You really have to know your stuff before you get in there. So there's the disclaimer. Yeah. And other than that, I'm super excited and looking forward to this boot camp. And big thank you for everyone that's getting involved. And big thank you to you guys for putting faith in the space and for everyone else for coming down to the space and doing it here at the pool boys. I'm just, I'm excited because this has been my vision, right? And we're finally bringing it together and making it happen for me and the team here. And I'm looking forward to it. And I can say this to everybody that's listening out there, and I know it's going to sound funny, but we're just getting started. Like we're we're, just the tip of the iceberg and (laughs) We are really just getting started. The vision, the dream, the things. John and I just had some great conversation today with the next things that are going to be coming. And just stay tuned because 
there's a lot of late nights where I wake up in the middle of the night and I go, I have an idea. There's that saying, guys, where it's, you, you have to do what you love. You, you have to do what you're passionate about. You have to do the things that wake you up in the middle of the night and get you excited about wanting to do something and wanting to get that hustle. And we're just getting started. The dream is just so big. So anyways, John, let me get your final thoughts. Again, I had a wonderful, this podcast was awesome. And, and I thoroughly enjoy talking and laughing about our experiences out there in the real world, the struggles that we go through. And I'm not afraid to admit it. And that's exactly what we need to do as a whole. In one of these classes, we're going to be talking about things that we all have gone through or haven't will eventually go through, right? And create a place where it's okay to where, hey, look, I've made this mistake before. How do I prevent it? Or this is the way I was taught to do it. And you're saying it this way. Can you explain to me why should I do it this way or whatever it may be? This is where we truly learn as individuals. And some of us have learned the hard way. Most of us have learned the hard way in the industry as we've been doing it. And if I had a choice, I would have loved to not have to make the mistakes that I've made in the past because I had the ability or I had the opportunity or I had the resources available or at least that I thought were available to be able to take advantage of stuff like these boot camps and these training courses that are becoming more and more prominent as we get these years, these recent years, these are becoming more prominent. But hopefully you guys enjoy it. Any recommendations from from you guys of more classes that you'd like us to be able to orchestrate and put together for you to make your jobs a little bit easier, shoot it our way and look forward to seeing you guys there and having fun and talking shop. That's it. I'm hungry. You're hungry. Yeah, we got to go eat because yeah. everything closes out here. So we got to bolt. I do want to give a special shout out here to Sheila from Smiley Pools. Thanks for the messages that you've sent. She sent me a couple messages on email and then posted on Facebook. Great informative podcast. Highly recommend this podcast to everyone in the pool industry. Really appreciate that. Everybody out there, I will be gone next week, right? So we'll do the Instagram live on Wednesday. Then Thursday, I'm going to take off. I'm going to Puerto Rico. My grandmother's going to be 100 years old. So I'm super excited to get out there and spend some time with the family. I think the last probably 10 months, it's been, I've been going 100 miles an hour. So I think I need to slow down a little bit, spend some time with the sister, brothers, family out there. So looking forward to that. Anyways, everybody join us on Wednesday, me and John on the Instagram live and hope that you guys have a great time. John, let's go eat my friend. Have a great one guys. Bye-bye. Bye. See ya. Thanks for listening to the Pool Nation podcast, a member of the Pool Nation family. You can listen to us live every Friday here at 9 a.m. Pacific, 11 a.m. Central, and 12 noon Eastern Standard Time. You can find us at Pool Nation or PoolNationPodcast.com, on Facebook, or on Instagram at Pool.Nation. And to find more info about Pool Invoice, the billing software built specifically for the pool industry, go to PoolInvoice.com. Before you go, this is what the pool industry has been waiting for. PoolManUniversity.com. It's the first platform dedicated to learning the swimming pool service and repair industry. A pool service community where you can connect and find videos on business, service, water chemistry, and repairs. See you there at PoolManUniversity.com. 